Hi everyone, welcome back to Ivan Chen YouTube channel. Today I will be playing the Perudua Golf Amateur Championship. This is done in Royal Perak, uh, the state of Perak here. And this is the last three state coming in to the grand final. As you all know, Malaysia we will have 14 state. Every state champion will actually participate in the grand final, which is uh, coming soon in maybe a month time and let us begin here got off to a very good start here putting my third shot within 10 feet and this is for birdie here just misses it a bit alright on to hole 2 is a short par 4 using another 5 iron this time just for placement Alright, on to the second hole of the day, just a 5 iron off the tee, just for some placement here, leaving myself a short red in. As you all know, this is my home course, so I will have a slight advantage over the others here. Get another good shot, leaving myself a very short one for my buddy. Alright, and somehow I think my butter is still very cold for the time being. But I'm still good with it. A good start here. Moving on to the next hole. A very long like par 4. I would say it's one of the longest in Roy Perak. And because we are playing so early in the morning, I'm just trying to tee off with a hybrid here for a placement. A placement shot. But somehow I push it slightly right, which will result in a longer approach in. And this is a 6 iron from 185 meters, leaving it slightly short, but it's all okay, it's in my game plan, which I can easily go for up and down. So a 52 wedge here, try to make sure I bump it nicely, and yep, a tap in par there, and moving on to our fourth hole. On to our fourth hole of the day. Sorry, I have to get my clothes changed. Using a driver here, a very short par 4. It's a left to right par 4. Somehow, with the decision to play a draw here, it's not so favorable. And I actually consider this a snap hook. And it's out of bounds. So I have to re-t and playing my third shot now. So this is not in my game plan and I will have to recover from here now a good tee off here and this is my fourth shot from about 65 meters in it's a back pain so I should have just you know put myself onto the green and have a chance to walk away with an easy double but instead I chosen to attack the pin and it's long and not a really good chip here but it's a good one here going for double and I misses it <coughs> so a triple bogey here to begin my 4-4 it's a, it's a big blow here which I have to come back now this is my 5th hole it's a 500 meter star 4 just near this one down the center fairway should leave myself about 200 in Using a 5 iron here just to put myself right in front of the green. Which I can do a chip and putt there. Because I do not have a... I, do, I did not bring my other hybrid. So I do not have the distance in. And this is the third shot here going for my eagle. And somewhat being too aggressive here. Still have some work to do for my birdie putt and still not dropping another par moving on to the next par 4 it's about 385 meters dog leg left to right it's a pretty simple hole which i need to get my driver on the fairway to give myself about 100 meters in easily so not a very good shot but i'll take that any day just slightly to the right here which is perfectly fine and this is my second shot from about 108 meters to the pin 
it's a 52 wedge here so leaving myself about a few feet below the hole and this is a birdie part yep finally get one in a very nice birdie here to reduce my score to 2 over on to the next hole it's a placement placement hole alright usually I will be teeing off with a hybrid but today I will be teeing off with my 5 iron so not a very good shot here I actually somehow pushed so severely right and it ended up on the other hole green side I have no option here just have to hit it out back to the fairway and from there have a approach in this is from this is about 92 meters in with my 56 the pin is back left and yeah I hit a very good shot leaving myself a short tap in for par here which I'm very happy about it still still good it was a very nice recovery shot from where I was happy to take that on to the longest par 3 of Royal Perak this is about 170 plus today we are playing off the blue tee here the black tee will be actually close to 200 meters taking a 7 iron here just okay, put it on the green have you seen the ball? Yeah. No. you know where the ball is? <laughs> so this is for a long body part here the pin is actually tucked right hand side I place it in the center and I pull that shot a bit so this is about 40 feet I guess a body feet body part here which I'm pretty happy about it just a slight timing here for another par par is always a, is always a good score in Royal Perak no doubt off to the next hole one of the index hole and this require a placement here using a hybrid and somehow just what? just to left and I'm under the trees again some trouble here I have no option just to punch it out and hope for a good approach in this is about 115 not too bad it's on the green and I'm putting for par here nope a bogey to drop me to 3 over for the day in Roy Perak if you are having trouble in certain holes just punch it out and go for 3 on alright don't do silly silly decision here because it will cost you a lot of stroke like in this case I can still attack this is my 9 iron here using a 9 iron here from about 135 I think so hit it slightly too hard it's back of the green but I will take that I'm still fighting for birdie about 25 feet for birdie here I thought I make that part. Alright, moving on to hole 11 here. My hole 11. It's a very short par 4 which require me to draw my drive. But unfortunately, I actually slice it and I'm under the tree about 100 meters to the pin here. Using a 7 iron just to punch it out and somehow just slightly short of the green. It should be an easy up and down here but unfortunately uh, my cameraman did not film the next one so moving on it's a mid mid distant part 160 meters using an 8 iron here currently the score is still 4 over and this one should be a very simple chip yep just step in just step that in for par
Moving on to the longest Popeye. As you can see, I aim severely left here. I'm very lucky that I actually pushed that shot a bit, just by a bit, and my ball is still playable on the fairway. Imagine if I actually aim slightly close to center, this shot will be out of bounds on the right. So I was quite happy to get away with it. And this 3 iron shot actually aim left trying to fade it back and somehow it went straight so leaving myself a very short distance in probably about 40 meters and yeah not a very good chip here but it's still on the green just hoping to make a two part from now a two part that's all i want not to be greedy just put it in yep Another solid par, I would say. On to the next hole. It's also about 500 meters par 5 here using a driver. Good, nice. A very good tee shot, I would say. Should leave myself an iron in. Yep, just about to hit it inside the drain. So I'm left with about 185 meters in. But somehow there's three actually blocking my my shot so I took a six iron instead of instead of a five and leaving myself short of the green and this chip here just to put it back put it close for another buddy yep make the buddy part and I'm back to three over onto onto the very challenging power four here i just aim slightly left and hoping for a fade but it somehow went straight and this is my approach honestly i semi shank this this shot here i have no idea why but this is golf third shot from the bunker here slightly to the edge of the bunker so trying my very best to hit it out just not enough and this is my fourth shot uh, I should have just chosen a 52 to putt but I'm just too lazy to go back to take and leap the hole for a double bogey here so from now on I'm actually thinking about my score because I have to I have to keep my score about 77 78 in order to have a chance to win so I'm actually 5 over now I have to par the remaining I would say the last last 3 holes in order to have a chance and for this hole coming up slightly short instead of taking a taking a chip here I will putt it not a very good one leaving myself a tap in par there alright the most difficult par 4 I would say for this course taking a drive here and as you all know I needed to draw the ball it went the other opposite direction I have a gap here I just have to aim slightly more left and hoping for a slice alright and my ball actually went straight this should be an easy up and, up and down here somehow I just you know Pop that shot a bit and got lucky I hit the rough before it comes on to the green leaving myself a very long part for par just telling myself not to be greedy just put it close alright just to walk away with a bogey stick over still have still have the chance to win so this is for my bogey here yeah, make that. So I'm six over for the time being. I hope you guys actually enjoyed the video. I needed a buddy here to to secure a win, I would say. And a power will actually guarantee me in the podium finish. I still have some work to do here. Guys, if you enjoy watching, do remember to subscribe, like and share it around among your golf groups here. Alright, this is Ivan Jen and to finish off this pop up here for a 78 
I won't say I'm disappointed but I would prefer to win the event unfortunately just one stroke short of becoming the champion here a tie second here miss out the championship spot by one and not able to participate in the grand final will be a huge disappointment for me but I'm traveling to Terengganu next week just to redeem it and hopefully I can show you guys the vlog next week stay tuned guys till then